If you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, well then, welcome brothers and sisters to the first episode of our Fallout 3 Let's Play series. For those of you who don't know what Fallout 3 is, Fallout 3 is an apocalyptic uh, wasteland, sort of like kind of RPG, first person shooter kind of game. It's, it's really cool. Uh, you'll get to see a lot of that. Um, it's, yeah, it's set in the kind of the DC area in the, in the States. Um, but if you're wondering why I'm playing this, speaking since it's, it's, it's an old game, uh, this is my number one favorite game that was ever released on the Xbox 360. I love this game so much, and unfortunately never actually got to play it a lot. Uh, I never originally owned it, but now I have it, and I also have it with all the DLC. So if this series really takes off, you guys will, uh, you guys will get to see a lot of this. Uh, if you guys uh, want any settings changed, uh, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, difficulty-wise. Um, I'm willing to play on hard. Uh, I don't want to go easier than normal because then it gets too, I don't, it gets too easy and it's not, it's no fun. So uh, I'm fine with normal, uh, hard. I don't want to go very hard because it's been a long time since I played. Right now I'm going to start on normal. Um, if you guys need it brighter or anything like that, let me know. Uh, you can also change the color of your like general HUD and your menu and stuff in the game. So uh, if you guys like any of that stuff changed, uh, there's like red, or there's like a orange color, a green color, a blue color, a white color. So uh, just let me know. But uh, I'm also gonna I'm gonna be playing as a good character rather than an evil character. I find uh, evil characters it's, it's too easy. You can just steal everything you want. Whereas a good character has rules to follow. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And, uh, before any dialogue pops in here, I'm going to quickly one more thing. I'm going to try to, uh, not talk during videos. Well, there isn't really much videos in this game, but important dialogue. I'll make sure the subtitles, but this way you guys can get a real feel for the, uh, for the storyline. And, uh, all right, so I'll get back to you as soon as it's... Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 3. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice a simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes.
In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. That's fucked up. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Cool, every time I Are push the button, I can make him cry. Or a girl. You a boy or a girl? Well, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Women are gorgeous. Men are fugly. So... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, normally I pick a girl, just because when I'm playing by myself, it's like... Not to be a creeper or anything, but, uh... It's like, if I'm gonna be staring at the backside of a character in a video game all day, why would I want to stare at a guy's ass? Like, no offense to anyone who's, like, you know, experimental. <laughs> but, uh, no, I prefer to say the backside of a girl, personally. But <laughs> I'm going to choose a guy just because, you know, we'll stick it's as close as we can to ourselves. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. All right, so Catherine's my mother. <gasps> oh. oh, James. <laughs> we did it. That must be my daddy. A son. Our son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Player name. <laughs> Your mother and I have been thinking about what to name you. What do you think of player name? Yeah, it's great, Dad. There's only one problem. I'm Invidious. No, I'm just kidding. Now we're gonna go with Invidious. It's kind of just the usual name we're gonna use for most things. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go with that. That's a good name, don't you think? Yes, Fits I do. You perfectly. Oh, well, thank you. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you look nice, like man. when you're Keep old grown up. Keep complimenting me. All right. African American, Asian, kind of yellow. Okay, that's kind of racist. Okay, looks like an Asian, just bigger nose. Okay, and he's pink. Go figure. All right, we're gonna be Caucasian just because that's what we are IRL. Uh, we're gonna pick a preset with a face we like and then change up the hair. So uh, kind of like this one just because you know the graphics aren't the greatest for the facial features and stuff. So. Uh, kind of boxy, but whatever. Alright, we'll use that. Hairstyle. Um, there's a bunch of them. I'm going to go with this, just because uh, it's what I used to always use. I haven't played this game in a very long time, though. But it's kind of like, you know, a Wastelander hair, you know. Shaggy, but somewhat kept. Not really. Uh, again, we're just going to choose a preset for color. Go with just casual brown. Um... Maybe we'll just give him a rough beard. Yeah. Just give him some stubble. Alright. That's our dude. You're going to look a lot like your dad. Oh, good. See that, Catherine? Be fucked up if I look like my oh. mom. Oh. Nothing Very personal, strapping. mom. I love you. Just, you know, if you had a beard. It's a big really world out there, son. Friggin' weird. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? Right, what shut kind up. of Let's person listen. are you going to be? J You're James? just a. Catherine? Catherine, she's in cardiac arrest. Stop no. compression. Get the baby no. out of here. Move, move. No, mommy. One, no, don't die. Two. I love you. Come on. No, mom. Hang on, Catherine. Hang no. on. <laughs> mommy. We need a doctor, not a dead person on the house. 
Fail to meet my oh, no. expectations and there will be no James and his cheerly charity. He's dead. I don't look straight into the light now. Just like your eyes. It's just something you get used to down here. Was it all a dream? Come on over here, son. No. Come on. I'm just... Walk to daddy. Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey, hey, I there you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Oh. Listen, kiddo. Mommy. I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone. I'm sorry, mommy. But I need you to take You're care dead. of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. Okay. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> See, his video's already getting kind of lengthy. Oh, a ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, video's getting kind of lengthy already, so see what I mean? I guess we're gonna have to do a lot of this introduction stuff uh, next time. Uh, we'll finish up this uh, scene here as my infant self. Uh, you know that bear, man. That bear. That bear. His name's Wilbert. That's my bear, Wilbert. Uh, yeah, and there's like a rattle in here, you can put Oh my god, it rattles. Like, it actually rattles. That's cool. Yeah. Pick that up. Oh no, sit back up, Wilbert. You're special. Oh, thank you. There you go. You sit there. No, I want to put the block. I'm a messy kid, man. Dada. Dada. <laughs> Screech. Oh, my car. No. You can't drive. You can't drive upside down, Mr. Speed Racer. Okay, that was fun. Anyways. Oh, you're special. Oh, thank you. Oh, you can read it. You're special. That's the strength, and that means I am strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. P is for perception. A wrong funny word. It means that I taste and smell on head. E is for endurance. And that's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. That's cool. C is for charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. That's kind of... Too many syllables, man. That could have been came out so much smoother. I is for intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brains for lots of stuff like science, math, and art. A is for agility. That's how I get around. I move real fast and easy and never make a sound. L is for luck, and that's simple, you see. It means that always or good things always happen to me. So, uh, yeah, these are my stats. Alright, so we got five points. We can take off points all the way to one, or we can raise them all the way to ten. Um... You can also raise them later in the game by getting other abilities, perks, and stuffies. I don't really care about charisma, so we'll drop that a point. Uh, perception, I can live without a point. Uh, put a point into strength, endurance, couple into intelligence, agility, luck. Uh, maybe another luck. Intelligence. Luck. Intelligence. I think intelligence gives me more points when I level up. I don't know. We'll go with that. Look at your special book complete. Oh, those are quests. Right. It's been a long time since I played this. Alright, let's play with my car. <laughs> oh. You are quite the little explorer, aren't you? <laughs> no. Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Don't step on Wilbur. See that? That's my bar. It was your mother's favorite passage. Sit down. We're going to have story time. Revelation 21.6. I am I Alpha sit? and Omega. No. Okay. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life. Freely. Oh, you're reading this. She always loved that. Mama's favorite passage. All right, come on. I Let's go mommy. see if your little friend Amada Dada. wants to play. I miss mommy, Dada. Alright, let's take this bear and go play with the Mata. Alright. But, uh, I guess, yeah. This is where we're gonna wrap it up. Into the light. Okay, anyways. Um, 
So yeah, if you enjoyed that, uh, click that like button, uh, show your support and all that fun stuff. Uh, means a lot to us. We love it. Uh, by we, I mean me. It's like Schmeagle, you know, split personalities. I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, show your support. I love it when uh, I get feedback. So leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, if you got any suggestions on what I can do with this series, uh, let me know. Uh, again, I'm going with the good side rather than the dark side. I don't care if they got cookies. Uh, yep. But uh, if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button and uh, take care. Peace.